Hello everyone, Cello Duel here, and today we are building my dream office space. Now this is just kind of a fun build for me. I just felt like designing a little office, just making it cute, just kind of personal, let you guys kind of see what I kind of like, and just, it's just kind of fun. I enjoy this kind of build. So I am starting to do more building on my channel. I do a lot of different challenges, so I'm hoping you guys like those and if there's any other kind of builds that you would like to see on the channel let me know because I'm thinking of doing like different little shops now I'm doing this a lot of these builds in the happy home designer the app I can't remember the exact name of the app that's that's embarrassing anyways it allows you to design rooms without actually having to do it for clients but then once you finish the room you could go take it to a client and have them use it so it's really nice. I really like it because then I don't have to go into Happy Home Paradise and do this or have to do, build all these in my house. I can just use this. I have such a big catalog to use. I'm not restricted to just my storage, which is really nice. Now for this build, it took me forever to find everything I wanted. The catalog is not organized. So there was a lot of going back and forth trying to figure out what did I like? What did I not like? Does this have a color I like? Oh no, let's go find something else. I also decided to do a slightly smaller room for this. I really like designing in the smaller spaces because you have to really think. It's not just, okay, massive space. It's hard to fill those up, especially if you don't have those dividing walls. But I felt like doing a nice smaller space would be kind of fun for this build. I feel like it turned out really nicely with having the smaller space because it felt kind of cozy, which I really like. As you can see here, I'm kind of fiddling with the desks. I had totally forgot to check swatches at the beginning of this, and then I was like, oh, I should check all the colors. I was kind of disappointed because some of the stuff that like I personally have comes in like pink or white, but then the game doesn't have those, so I was a little disappointed. I did do the gray switch. I personally have the gray switch, but I just put these little like switch the Joy-Con covers over and I have little pandas on there. I think it's so cute. So I made sure to include that because you know it's for my channel. So I also decided to put a pink computer on there because I would love a pink computer. That'd be amazing. And here I discovered the pink desk. Now I don't know if in real life I would get a pink desk because it does restrict you more but I would love a corner desk. They're so cool. I am obsessed with them. I do not currently have the space whatsoever to fit a corner desk, but in my dream office, I would have a corner desk. As you can see here, I put that speaker down because when I found it, I was like, oh my gosh, I have one of these. It looks exactly like that black one, which is pretty hilarious. I use it all the time just for different stuff. I didn't realize how useful and nice it'd be until I had one, but now it's my baby and I love it. As you can see here, I'm like, oh, should I put a couch? I ultimately decided against it. It would have been nice, but I was just like, I feel like putting some other stuff there. I also really wanted to put a pink gaming chair. I have one, and it's so nice, but instead I get stuck with this white thing. I also wanted to have, like, these shelves in the back because I feel like if I did have an office space, I would definitely have this shelf type of shelving just because they're really nice for just storing stuff, which I would love. Currently, I don't have the space for that kind of storage, but it would be nice. I also went to the white ones because they honestly remind me of Ikea shelving, and honestly, that is what I would use. Because even in the bottom, if you look closely, they have all the little holes to put the, like, the boards to pick the right sizes that you want. And that just was hilarious to me. I wish just because this game is, like... 360 especially with these rooms at the back would have been flush, but honestly it makes it more realistic for these shelves to have that wooden So yeah, I also tried to put that cherry blossom thing in there because I love it, but it's so big I need a smaller version too. I Also wanted to make sure to put some stuffed animals in there because I love my stuffed animals I wish they had some smaller ones like for the desk because Honestly if I had that big of a desk it would be so decked out and all my little stuffed animals and just little decorations and gifts I've gotten from friends over the years. I also originally kind of wanted to put those like mess of cords because that always happens. We all know this after dealing with electronics. But you unfortunately cannot put things under the desk, which I would have loved. I think if you could put stuff under the desk, it would look so good and so much more realistic, which I would have loved. 
I also want, was thinking of putting some pictures up on the shelving, but that didn't really work out. I wanted to have the stuffed animals because I felt like that'd be more realistic because if that computer had like a camera or I decided to do like a face cam, then it would have that background. So I thought, oh, I want to do something kind of cute in there because I know this would never be a possibility, but it's just fun to kind of imagine. I also made sure my desk was facing the window because I love being by the window, just kind of watching everything. I love watching birds as I do stuff. Whenever there's a window, I'm always going to probably try to face it just because I enjoy watching just out the window. It's always fun. So I definitely think if I had an office, the desk would be right in front of the window because I just want to watch out the window. I also tried to find like a little bit of food items because I feel like if I had my own little office space, there would definitely be food in there all, all times. That's why there's a mini fridge, but unfortunately, stuff didn't fit. I also love all the boba flavors in this game because I personally love strawberry boba over the other flavors, so I was like, I'm going to add this, but there's no space, so that's unfortunate. And here you can see I'm starting to add wall decorations. I just wanted to make it fun because personally, like in my room, I do have a lot of wall decorations that are just fun. They're just kind of personalized, so I wanted to kind of bring that into this build because I feel like if I did have a separate office space, that would definitely be a possibility. I felt like the little Animal Crossing poster was appropriate. I feel like if I had an office, I would definitely put that in there. So it's just cute. I also have the cork board because knowing me, I would fill that up with so many sticky notes because I put everything in sticky notes for no reason, and then I end up losing them. So yeah, that's always fun. I also tried out a lot of photos because I just feel like those are cute and nice and I just really liked them. I also like that they had the group of three because I have me and my two friends. We always hang out. I thought about doing the posters, but I was just like, I'm not really a poster person. I do like posters, but I just, I can never find a place for them. I always get overwhelmed by them. So I'm like, small photos, you can put more of them. They're just fun. And I just picked some villagers. Not many of these were too specific, like Whitney, I've never had her, but I just liked her photo. But some of these, like I put some of my villagers, some of the villagers that I like or I've had in previous times. I also like doing those vertical photos. I just think it's so fun because then it just gives some different elements to some different shapes because in spaces like this, not everything's uniform. Everything's going to be slightly off. It's going to be everywhere. So it's just kind of fun. I also love adding the Starry Garland. I would love to have fairy lights, but I never get around to it, or I currently have some just sitting in their packaging. So this is almost the end of the build, and I will see you all in the tour. Okay, so now we are going to get into the tour. So this is my little office that I built. I really love how this turned out. I think it is so cute and it's very much me. So as you can see I have a little desk here that I kind of do work on. I have the computer, the switch, headset, and then like little book where I keep track of stuff. But then I have a DIY table because I love to do crafting and that kind of takes up a lot of space so it'd be nice to have like a separate place for that. And then I have a little cork board to like just decorate. I also have these pictures because I do like to do some art and I would have that hung up. I also decided to go with the accent wall. This would not be a real life thing, but I just think it's so cute and I just love it. And then I did the starlights because if recording with the camera, then you kind of see that background. Over here, I did a bunch of stuffed animals because I do have a lot of stuffed animals. I did the little macrame hanging decoration because I did get one of those for a Christmas gift, but I can't put it up because my dog thinks it's for her, so... She keeps staring at it because she wants to play with it because there's a stick and dogs, especially mine, love sticks. Speaking of dogs, I put my dog down here. This is Emma. It kind of looks like Emma. It needs a cranberry collar though, not a red one, but put a little rug for her. I did some photos, just have like photos of friends, just really cute. I really liked the clock. I felt like I needed something above the wall. I also did the ceiling fan because every room in Arizona has to have a ceiling fan or else you are going to die from the heat. I also put the little light switches. I just felt like that was kind of appropriate and cute. Did a little shelving, kind of filled up the space, put some more just personal items. Then like I have just more wall decorations that I thought were kind of cute, like the friends photo, 
I just really like it. I wish I had the gaming table and the gaming chair unlocked because then I would definitely have used those instead. I feel like this is a bit more realistic though because I would love a corner desk, but I do not have the space for that right now. But I also was like, I need a pink chair. I currently have a pink bunny chair that is the best thing ever and I was so mad I didn't get to use at least the pink gaming chair. I will work to unlock that, but I really need that item. I also did a mini fridge. I felt like that was cute. I did the succulents. I used to try to take care of succulents, but my current room does not have enough sunlight for them. So they all died. Now I have a ton of fake plants in my room, but they're cute. They look good because they don't need anything. And I also have my Bluetooth speaker in here. I do actually have one that looks identical to that, which I found pretty hilarious when I found just because I, do, I don't always play music in my room, but I use it all the time for other stuff. So I just thought it'd be perfect to put it in there. Just kind of have some music going. So yeah, this is my office space. Like my dream office space, not my real office. I do not have a real office. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more building videos, make sure to check out the rest of my channel. And if you want to see more videos like this where I kind of make my own dream kind of space then let me know in the comments down below like what kind of things you would like to see and I will definitely do those. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe it really helps out and I will see you all next time. Bye!